So you want to use Google Calendar to create a video conference. Great. Let's take a quick look at how to do that. So first, once you get logged into your calendar uh, and you are logged into your EVSC account, and you can get to calendar either by through your app waffle or typing in Google, I'm sorry, calendar.google.com. Here you are in your calendar view, and I'm just going to hit create mm -hmm. here. And this brings up the creation window, and we're going to create an event. Now, let's say that you want to take some time and study with a couple of your friends on the test, right? Okay. So give it a title of what you wanted to do. Select a date, and we're going to make it tomorrow. Uh, and I'm going to do it from, let's say, what, 6 to 7? All right. Now, Google Calendar will default on events to an hour at a time. You can change it to two hours, one hour, 50 minutes, whatever you want. You can also do 18 minutes if you want. It really doesn't matter. Um, you could hit repeat if you wanted it to. Okay. You can add guests. Now, in this example, because you're going to be working with other people, it would be beneficial to do that. And you just start typing in their name, and it will auto-populate that for you, right? And so these would be the people that you were going to study with. You type in their names, and they, uh, it'll, you just add them to the event. Then, right down here where it says Add Video Conferencing, you select that. You have three different options, Google Meet, WebEx, and the WebEx Personal Room Meeting. Now, we are going to use, for the most part, Google Meeting or Google Meet, and so you would select that. And it will generate the link to it and some other notations. I can add a location and time, but because this is virtual, you won't need that. I can add in a description, study for... Uh, science test and I can add attachments so let's say that I've created a study sheet for that or maybe there's a video that we're going to watch right you can either upload that from your computer or you can select it off of your drive and then when you're ready you will hit save now what's going to happen is that when you send that out and I'm just going to hit save for now when you're going to send that out you're going to get here it is, study session, six to eight, okay? Now I'm gonna select, um, when they, when when other people, they'll get an email that reminds them of this, and when they click on it, they'll be able to hit join with Google Meet. This is also how you will access this. Again, you know, the calendar is a nice way to keep you organized, and because the functionality of adding in the, the, the video conferencing, this becomes really powerful and it's a really great tool to help you stay organized, manage your time, and do the best that you can this semester.